Hello everybody, it is a writer share and welcome to today's redstone video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about redstone logic gates. So what a logic gate is, is it's essentially a building block of inputs and outputs. So the most simple logic gate is just an input and an output where if you flick the lever, the redstone lamp turns on. If the lever is off, the redstone lamp is off. And so how I will be showing you these nine logic gates is with a lever or a series of levers and a redstone lamp indicating whether there is an output that is on or off from the circuit. So that's our very simple one, just an input output, yes or no. Here is the not gate. So this one inverts the signal. So if the lever's off, the redstone lamp's on. If the lever's on, then the redstone lamp's off. And this is done with a simple redstone torch on the end of the gate. Our next gate is the OR gate. So basically, if this lever is on, or if this lever is on, or if both of them are on, you will get an output through the redstone lamp. And this one's pretty simple. You just take the redstone outputs and combine them, run them into your output, and that's it. And then here we have an AND gate. So basically, if this both of the levers are off, you don't get an output. If one of them's on, and one of them's off, you do not get an output, but if both of them are off, you do get an output. And this is done by placing two redstone torches on top and a redstone dust in the middle, and then have a torch on the back of that redstone dust running into your output. And how this one works is if either of these are on, this redstone dust will be powered, which will unpower that redstone torch, rendering this off. Our next gate is going to be an RS neural latch. Now this one is a memory gate. So basically with this one, you can have two outputs, this side or this side. And so this one will remember which one was pressed last, essentially. So if we go ahead and press this button, this will do nothing. But if we press the button with the torch that is currently on, it will switch sides. And this allows you to say, hey, has a button been pressed yet? Like. Say you have a button just on here and you want to take an output, see whether or not the button's pressed. If they press it, you can take an output from this redstone signal and run that into your other circuitry. Our next gate is a NOR gate. So when you have an N before a gate, it basically makes, it says take this gate right here, the OR gate, and invert it. Oh, I just got rid of my sign. Let me grab another one. Okay. So basically what this says is if um, either of these are on, then do not give an output. And it's pretty simple like that. So it's just the OR gate in reverse. Our next gate is a ZOR gate. Now this one is a little bit more complex than the other gates that we've seen. This one states that if we have one lever flipped or the other lever flipped, but not both, you will get an output. Now this one works in a really, really cool way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuitry. So we start off by taking an input from these two levers and we run that actually into two redstone torches. Now if either of these redstone torches are powered, then this redstone torch will not be powered. But if both of these are unpowered, let's go ahead and do a visual real quick. You can see that this redstone torch is indeed powered, which then power powers these blocks which unpower these torches making it so that there's no output so if both of those levers are on there is no output that way but if only one of these levers is on this redstone torch won't be powered and then the redstone the lever that you flicked that that redstone torch will be on so that way it doesn't be given output i'm sorry words are a little bit difficult for me right now not sure why but yeah so that's how that one works and then we have the XNOR gate and this one is exactly the same except it takes the opposite output so if either the levers are on or if either the levers are off it will give an on output but if one of them is on and one of them is off it will not give that output. Now all of these designs are not my own design these are just standard Minecraft logic circuits and can be found on the Minecraft wiki but this one over here is this one's a slightly interesting one because it requires, it's like, if you have power running into it, that's when it works. So this one is a simple switch design that requires that you run power into it for it to work. So right now it is off since the lever's off. You can see with our two redstone lamps, there is no input. But if we turn this on, you can see that that redstone lamp over there turns on. And if we flick this lever, then our other redstone lamp turns on. 
Now this one is a fairly simple logic gate. What you have to do is you have to take an inverted output from this lever, run that into some redstone dust, and then run it into two separate blocks. And this is essentially controlling whether or not that will be on, whether or not this circuit can give an output at the time. And then this lever over here controls which lamp will be turned on. And this is done using a simple gate, just a lever running into a redstone torch, running into some redstone dust, running into a redstone torch. This basically inverts the signal from this one, so that way only one of those redstone torches can be on, meaning that only one of these lamps can be on at a time. And that is all the logic gates that I am going to be showing in this video, all nine of them. And then what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this world up for download since I have some more puzzles for you. These ones are logic gate based puzzles where you will have to essentially light up that redstone lamp. And I'll go ahead and just show you level one real quick. If you don't want to see this, if you want to solve it by yourself, go ahead, skip to the end of the video, or you could close out right now since there's not really much more content. But this one is a series of three AND gates, essentially meaning that if we turn this one on, we can input there. And if we turn this one on as well, we can input there, turning on our redstone lamp. And there are four more of these logic gate puzzles increasing in difficulty as they go. And this should hopefully help you get used to for logic gates, familiarize yourself with them. And in the end, I do hope this helps you with any of your redstone builds that you may have. And I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. But I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.